Creating some neuron themes. Setting up a portfolio is the same as setting up a blog. You build it item by item and then choose a portfolio element to showcase them all. And with the tools at your disposal, you will be able to give your portfolio a Eurythmic setting to match your spirit. In this video, we are going to show you how to design and build your portfolio page with style and elegance, how to tweak the options out of the portfolio element and create unique showcases for your art such as the one we're showing you right now. To get your portfolio up and running, you will need to have established a solid ground and posted a number of portfolio items since the element will extract content from your database. We will link the video in the description box below that will guide you step by step how you can add your portfolio items and a full on tutorial on the portfolio feature. To design your portfolio showcase, we went ahead and added a title. From the left panel of elements, search for the portfolio element and place it on the container. As you can see, the element by default has pulled content from the database and has displayed it into the working sheet. We will go ahead and configure the options to create the sleek and modern design that you saw earlier. Let's start with the first step, the content tab. Here you have the layout section and under the columns option we will choose to display two columns. You can choose to have three, four and more columns based on the design you want to present. The post per page option will set the exact amount of post to be displayed in the element. Here we will give it a value of 8. The carousel option will allow you to present your portfolio in a slideshow-like showcase. For this example, we'll leave it unchecked. Choose the layout to be masonry or you have other options like grid and metro and we'll set the image size to full. Enable or disable the switch to either show or hide the title of the portfolio item and set its HTML tag. Switch the handle on to show the categories and choose the category count to be shown in the hover effect. Moving on to the query section, the default source from where the element pulls the data is set to post. Switch the setting to portfolio and order them either by date or ascending and descending. We'll go with ascending. If you wish to add pagination to your portfolio, you can simply do that if you set the pagination setting to either be numbers, show more, previous next, or a combination of both. Moving on to the next and last section of the content tab, first thing, you will want to enable the filter for the categories to be shown. Choose the taxonomy to portfolio categories and set the alignment to right. Next on, we have the styles tab. This is where we are going to have fun and transform our portfolio design to another level. First off, we have the layout section. You can set the exact gap between the items. We'll put the value of 70 pixels here and we'll add the same value to the row gap as well. Let's adjust the initial animation settings. For this example, we have chosen the fade in up animation, but you can choose from other various options available. And we have decided to the delay at 300 milliseconds. Select a hover animation of your choosing. We are going to go with the translate animation and we'll align it to the center. If you align it left or right, see how the text moves accordingly. In the item section, you can add border radius to the portfolio item or you can add a shadow to it. In the item overlay section, we'll choose a background type to be color and select the color white. We'll add some spacing of 25 pixels around the corner to give the feeling that the overlay sits inside the portfolio item. We'll select a color for the portfolio title and we'll add a spacing value of 4. We'll tweak the typography options a little bit as our design team seems to be a little obsessed over typography. Here we will put a value of 24 pixels for the font size and choose for the weight of the font to be at 400. And lastly, we'll add a value of 34 pixels to the line height. Select the color for the categories text. We've decided on this gray color. And lastly, from the styles tab, you have the filter section, from where you can add the space between the items in the filter bar and set the spacing between the filter bar and the images. In the advanced tab, we'll add some margins to be negative 32 pixels. As you can see, it will lift the filters up to the same height as the title. The advanced tab will include various options for adding paddings, margins, classes, or motion effects but for the sake of minimalism, we'll leave these options as they are. And here is your final result. Click on the preview icon to see how your portfolio looks. Seems fantastic. This concludes our video. 
Hopefully it has been informative. Make sure to click on the subscribe button and tap the bell for upcoming videos.